Okay, in this video number two, we're going to learn how to plot a position using visual bearings and a radar range. So from video one, we, were, we learned how to plot a GPS waypoint. And then we put a track line with a course to steer of 251 degrees true. Right. We're going to steer this course. 8 o'clock comes around. I'm going to take an 8 o'clock fix, so I put down an 8 o'clock DR using my estimated um, speed, or maybe I'm using the speed made good, okay, uh, and then uh, DR is always drawn along the track line. For every fix, you need to have a DR, that's the rules of DR. Aside from that, now we took two visual bearings, okay. We got Stratford Shoal Middle Ground Light bearing 305 degrees true, and Old Field Point Light bearing 236 degrees true. We also simultaneously at 8 o'clock, maybe we had help from um, another navigator or cadet, but we, we shot a radar range of Old Field Point at 4.8 nautical miles. So with this information, we only needed two of these to plot a fix, but a good fix would have um, three reference points. So here we have three, all right? And we're gonna plot it. So I'm gonna start with the top visual bearing of Stratford Shoal Middle Ground Light. I identified on the chart that this light is right here. I verified it in our light list. I am going to get a bearing of 305 degrees true using the divider on my triangle. Remember we use the hash marks on the outside of the triangle, but we use the reference here and the um, numbers. So 305 is right here, off to a good start. I'm keeping this middle hash on a vertical line on the chart, which is a meridian. And here along the same meridian from the hash, I come down and we're at 305 in between 300 and 310. So this right here is 305. It's also showing us 125, which is 180 degrees difference, and that would be that direction. Right now, I shot a light at 305 degrees true. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, hold that pressure down shift my second triangle here, now press down on the second triangle, slide this triangle over so that the writing edge is right on the light, the light is the black dot, okay, that the magenta um, points to. I could start at the light and draw a huge line, I know that I am somewhere on that line of position, I don't know where, but I'm thinking, I'm hoping I'm close to my 0800 position, I mean my um, 0800 DR position. So I'm gonna draw a short line and say I'm hoping I'm somewhere along that. I hope I'm not too far off where I think I'm gonna be. And I'm gonna label that line of position as 0800, right? Now I will plot my second line of position off old field point light. It bears 236 degrees true. I'm gonna do the same thing. Get the hash mark there, 236. I have 235 and 236 here. Line up the hash and 236. Hold the pressure down there. I've identified old field point light is here. It's the little dot that the magenta is pointing to. The magenta means it's a light. Oh, I'm gonna set myself up for two shifts. Not my finest. All right. We have the drawing edge right there on the black dot for the light. I could draw a whole line of position. I know I'm somewhere on that to infinity. Hopefully I'm somewhere close to where it crosses the other line of position. So I choose to draw it right there. That was also shot at 0800. And because I label all my lines of position, I'll label that 0800. So I am right there. That is my fix. But to corroborate that fix, I took a radar range. Okay. And so for that, I'm going to use 4.8 nautical miles off old field point, not the light, because the radar is going to reflect off the land. Okay, visually I, I took a bearing of the light, but here I'm going to use the edge of the land, which is, I don't know, a tenth of a nautical mile different. 
4.8 nautical miles, we know one minute of latitude is one nautical mile. So we use the latitude scale for our distance. This would be one nautical mile. Here's two, three, four point eight. Right, 4.8 nautical miles from Old Field Point. I put this tip on the edge of land. Ideally, I would have this turned into a compass. Hey look, it changed. All right, now we're working with the compass. So we have 4.8 here, nautical miles. I'll put my pointer on the edge of land at Old Field Point. I'm gonna swing an arc, line of position. This line of position will be an arc. I know I'm somewhere on that range. I label it 0800, and hey, they all cross at the same point. It gives me high confidence in this fix. And because I did use a radar, which is an electronic means, I am going to make a triangle. No need to put a dot in the middle where the lines cross is already the dot. And I label it 0800. That is my 0800 position using this information. I see that I'm to the left of my course. Right, how far to the left? Let me use my triangle at 90 degrees. Line it up with my position. I am four tenths of a nautical mile left, of course. I am also four tenths of a nautical mile from where I thought I would be, my DR position. All right, so I'm four tenths of a nautical mile left, and there is where I am at 8.8. .8.